is up you guys it's Alex welcome back to my channel and if you're new then hey and thanks for joining today I have a super exciting video for you guys it's super artsy too we I'm going to try to make bubble art with paint and I saw this on Pinterest and I was like I definitely have to do this so if you want to see me possibly make a mess and call it art then keep watching So starting out, I'm going to have some basic paints, um, a plate with some napkins, uh, a couple of cups, some straws, paintbrush, a blank canvas, and then I'm just using dish soap and have some water here. I also put a trash bag on my rug so that I don't stain it and I protect it. So yes, I'm not really sure if this is going to work or not, but let's get into it. Also, just a quick warning, this can become very messy, so if you're doing this, just wear clothes that you don't care if it gets like paint on them or whatever. So I'm wearing like a sweatshirt and some sweatpants. Okay, so here I'm separating out the four cups. I'm going to divide out my colors and then I'm gonna add some water, mix it up a little so we have like a colorful solution. Go ahead and mix in the soap just like one or two drops like I'm doing here and just mix it up so that you have a bubbly colorful solution okay so I add a little bit more soap because it wasn't bubbly enough for me so here we go also look at this napkin like can I just frame this and put it up on the wall I think this is so cool okay so I have all the paint and dish soap mixed up together and now I have my straw I'm gonna take it out of the package and basically from what I understand you're supposed to like blow bubbles into the cup until they like fall onto the canvas so hopefully um, this works and I don't drink paint and soap because that would be terrible okay so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make the bubbles in the cup and then I'll flip the camera and show you guys how I'm putting it on the canvas. But I have two straws and I did the first one with the yellow because it's like the lightest color. But I'll show you with the blue. Also I got this straw from work. It's like one of those slushy straws and so I flipped it over because it has like the wide end and then like the normal end. And so I'm like putting my mouth on this side. Basically just going to do this and it sounds super cool. Ready? Here we go. How cool is that? And then I'm just gonna like keep blowing on, like have this over and I'm just gonna keep blowing on the bubbles so that it like pops onto the canvas. so far I'm kind of getting out of breath um, blowing so many bubbles but I think it looks great um, I'm gonna just continue until the whole canvas is filled up let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I might paint something over it like keep this as a background I'm not really sure yet but yeah drop me a comment let me know what you think I will say the one downside to this project is sitting here and watching paint dry like I tried to fan it but then it like messed up the bubbles and you just have to allow them to pop on their own and this is taking a long time like just pop already it's fun okie dokie here is the finished canvas it looks wet but it's dry and I'm going to go ahead and paint something on top of it I'm not really sure what but I will paint it and then show you guys the finished artwork Okay, so jump to two days later. I redid this because I didn't like the first design that I painted on the first canvas. So I redid this one this morning. It's a bit more um, like vibrant, the colors. Also, I got impatient and I used a blow dryer and then it popped all the bubbles and made these like kind of weird, cool designs. So I think this is like the definition of make a mess and call it art. So now I'm gonna go ahead and repaint a uh, design on this and then show you guys the actual finished product. Okay, guys. 
finished product. I love this. I love that it's a lot of contrasting colors and then the black just makes it stand out. I love that this looks like a face right here. Like what? Um, I just looked at a picture on Pinterest and then painted it like silhouette style. Obviously, you just, like if you do this, you don't have to put anything on top. You can just leave the designs or you can make it as a background like I did. This one is definitely going on the living room art wall and I love it. I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to do this kind of style background again for sure. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more content. Make sure and click the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I will be posting more regularly now in 2020 because that was one of my goals, which if you haven't seen my vision board video, you should go check it out. Also go check out my other videos if you haven't seen them yet. Um, feel free to hit me up on social media if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. All my social media is at Sparkling Alex, or you can drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, if you've tried this bubble art before, and let's just, let's just talk. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!